It can be a hard balance to talk about the good and the bad in this world. Day in and day out, it's, um, it seems like the bad outweighs the good. I can't really feel rested with the world being the way it is, with so many being unaware of the biblical world, and then with so many knowing it, but going the left-hand path, selling out, whatever that means to you, selling out for money or fame, selling out your soul, selling out your fellow brothers and sisters or your fellow hu humans, <laughs> selling out to God, For me, when I realized that Jesus was the truth in my life, and in life, he's the truth. He's not my truth. He is the truth. When I realized that, I realized, you know, quite a few things. That I have been a sinner in my life. And that I felt bad for what I've done. I wasn't living a life pleasing to God or to myself because living a life for God is beneficial to you, to me. Who should we trust, the Creator and our Father of all? Or ourselves with our basic understanding? In the last few years, there has been such a revelation of what the world is. And for a lot of it, it was up is up and down is down. And the emperor, he's naked. We just had to stand up and say something. Everyone in the world was going, okay, okay, man and woman. Okay, famous people. Okay, history books, according to the winners in this world, right? The, the losers don't record history. The winners record the books. And when I say winner, I mean the powers that shouldn't be. This world has always been sold out. It's been biblical since day one. And you can read about it <laughs> in the Bible, in Genesis and throughout the Bible my whole life I just thought the Bible was religion Jesus was religion I believed in God but I just made up God he's out there somewhere I'm a good enough person the world does that the world views things with their own minds they rely on themselves and you know they're pretty good people they walked that little old lady across the street last year We've never killed anyone or, you know. So what we needed to be doing was realizing who God is. And I know this can be a big debate for people, but how can, how can people not see that the world is biblical, where the Bible is true? Things that have happened, the Bible tells it how it goes. And then there's so much in the name of science and man, where it's Darwin and whoever that had their own theories. One thing I really hate is the age of the world, is the age of creation, Earth. It's not that old. It's several thousands of years old. It's not millions and billions with cavemen and we exploded from nothing and made everything. We evolved from primordial soup ooze or something and fish and monkeys brothers and sisters I know so much of the world has never really looked into that they taught it in school so it has to be true they wouldn't lie to us that's what people think hasn't Satan lied to us about everything and it's amazing and again in my mind 
and hopefully in yours, proves that God is real, proves that Jesus Christ came to earth and he did die on that cross. Why did he do that? I know about it. I've heard about that. It doesn't affect me. It affects us all. And while some people claim to be Christians and while some people are, don't claim to be and they just think I'm going about it wrong. They think you're going about it wrong, brothers and sisters. I never have all the answers. I just know that Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, the life. So putting my faith in him, I pray for understanding. I pray to be a good and faithful servant. I don't hate my enemy. I hate what they do and the agendas they push in and that they're sold out because it's, it's very hard to have any respect for that. I have respect for God. I have a fear of God. It's a reverency. It's a reverence. Like, he's so holy and powerful. To think that we could ever come close to competing with him. Not that we'd want to compete with him, but Satan does. And people in this world do. There's many men that I've watched interviews and YouTube clips and whatever. They have so much pride. They are blind. They're blinded by science. They're blinded by the world. They're blinded by Satan. Again, the pride thing. I'm so grateful to God, and it's just, it's amazing that this is happening. When I was really depressed years ago, I was like, well, what is the point of life then? Like, what, what is this? Why, why is the world like this? And see, I didn't realize how bad it was. It's like that classic, a call for an uprising video. It's like, have you ever thought there was something wrong with the world, but just couldn't figure out what it is? It's like, we figured out what it is. Satan runs things here. That's why things are a mess. The right way is God's way. You know, God wants what's best for us, but there's a lot of deception. There's a lot of temptation. We need him. We need to stand on the solid rock and foundation that he is. All else is sinking sand. So I hope people can understand from my videos that I'm not like this celebrity. I hate them. Let's call them names. They have sold out as far as I can tell. I'm trying to be real about it. I don't know how it all works, but signs and symbols, they've been hidden in plain sight. We know this. It's more than that. It's that the world is biblical, Jesus is true, have faith in him today if you don't. God bless you everyone.